giant mud crab. Look. And tonight we are going to catch some mud crabs in the mangrove forest just over there. That is why we are here in this area and as you can see it's getting dark because that is the perfect time to catch some mud crabs. That's right. So we are going to take you to the mangrove forest and we're gonna get dirty. How are we gonna catch some mud crabs? Oh, before I forgot, we are actually gonna catch some mud crabs using a Traps. traditional trap. Yes. So hopefully we're gonna catch a lot in the morning. So we're taking you with us right now. Let's go. Let's go. We'll be putting the bait inside, but we have to put holes first. For our bait, we're using fishes. Sardines. The usual sardines. And then each also a part of a cuttlefish. So I have three parts. We're also using a nylon, so we can attach it to this plastic bottle over here. And this is how we put the bait inside. So this one, this one is our trap and then we'll put the bait inside. There you go. And our bait is already in. This is what you call traditional traps for mud crabs as you can see guys it's already nighttime and it's kind of windy but we're gonna set these traps now so we're going in the mango forest wait what's that no fruit bats look fruit bats hi oh my god there's too many of them and now we are and then what where you're looking to the right? Okay, so we're there's a sea snake. Go check it out, check it out. And there you go. We there's found a sea, a sea snake. snake. We found a sea snake. They're very chill. See, they don't they won't really bite you. Yep. Let's go. They're not a sea snake. Okay. Okay, moving on. Here's another swimmer crab. This is a crenate swimmer crab. Check it out. Oh, check this out. This, those are actually edible crabs. We can eat them. They taste good. Let's go. Let's go. So, this is really hard. This is night time already. And why are we doing this during the night? Why is it the perfect time? Because they usually hunt during the night. That's why we're putting... We're, the mud crabs usually hunt during the night. That's why we're, oh, we're setting the traps. Oh, those are just <laughs> leaves. Water canal. So we are now inside, oh. inside the mangrove forest. We're putting a huge rock on top of the traps right now. It's actually nighttime already, guys, and I'm kind of afraid because this is the mangrove area. This is a mangrove forest, and there are a lot of dangerous organisms here. here yeah. Um, I heard there are crocodiles in this area, so I'm kind of afraid, but we're still doing it. I can't believe we're we're doing this tonight. Go, Nico. <laughs> oh, no! Andre, Andre, Andre. What's the one? Andre. The the the. Batu, buddy, I ni. Di mana batu kulas? That's a crocodile. <laughs> Yep, there you go. We have it, and then. How many tokens? Can you hear that? Do you hear that? Shut up! 
Hana. Hana, what's on the way? So our traps are all set. Yep. Okay. Remember last night that it was so dark? This is how the area looks like in the morning. That's the river. And then the entrance to the mangrove forest. Let me check out these giant rhizophora mangroves and a monkey hi and a monkey the monkey is over here <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> with our empty bucket we're checking the last pot or the last crab trap because the other two we didn't have any catch on the other two so we're hoping that this last one there would be a mud crab. Be careful with the uh, sea snakes because they live in this area. Yes. This is our last crab trap. Oh can my god! Someone? Oh my god! Can see something? Oh my god! We can see something! Woo, we're I'm trying to film it. That is a mud crab! We finally caught one! Take out the, take out the, the stone. Okay. Slowly, slowly. Wait, 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 wait. Slowly. Woo! Check this out, guys. Oh my God. That oh my God, is so a giant mud crab. Look, look. We finally have one. But it's a crab. What is that? Nano putol. Oh my God! Look at that. It's, it's putol. It's a giant, but it doesn't have any claw. Its left claw is gone. And I can see some scars as well. I think this giant mud crab has been into fights with other mud crabs look oh my god now let's take this oh my god let's take it here and then have it in our... there you go look at how big this is it's so big like for real like you really have to be careful in getting this out and can you can you check this? See that when they are brownish, Please explain when, why why it is crippled. It's crippled because usually with giant male mud crabs, they do have fights with other mud crabs, male mud crabs as well. That's why they usually lose their limbs. You can also see a scar on top of the carapace. That means this mud crab really has been into fights. So it's a and warrior then, mud crab. Yeah, it's a warrior. As you can see, it's a male. Guys, don't forget in the Philippines, the Philippines just declared a law protecting mud crabs, female mud crabs, so we can only take males. We're not allowed to take females anymore, which is a good thing because I always advocate for sustainable fishing. And so with only taking male mud crabs, we are letting the females reproduce more and more baby mud crabs in the future. So let's go. Let's go home. There you go. See how big that is? There. Check that out. And you can also see here, this pinchers, it's broken. So this is an indication, a major indication that this mud crab has been to fights. And then also this scar right over here. And then the main difference also with males and females, the, the males have really large claws. See that? Female claws don't really get this big, but the males they do. Ano sabi mo ni Naho pag guha yan? Ha? Gusto na ka na hawin ang ipidag brody ganyan sa ha? Good luck! Hello? Desa? Ano ano dapat niya? Ano? Yee! Hi! So we are back in our cooking spot. Yes, our very green cooking spot. And we are about to... Yee! Cook this giant mud crab right now. So we caught this yep. at the mangrove area in our island yesterday. So yes, and so we're gonna I'm start excited. cooking this. So excited. Me too. The obvious indication that it's a male is because of the abdominal flat, like I mentioned yesterday. If it's triangular in shape like this one, this is a male. So when it's broad, this flap is broad, means they are female. 
you have to be very generous with your soda. soda. So we're waiting for our crab to boil. Yeah, to boil or to cook. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start cutting the ingredients for our sauce. And I'm gonna start asking questions about mud crabs. Yes. Especially molting. I don't um, know anything about molting. Yeah, the, in, in our in our um, local, dialect, yeah. local dialect, molting is magluno or luno. Luno, yeah. yes. Luno. Magluno. It's the local dialect for molting. molting. Now, for mud crabs, as you can see, their shell or their exoskeleton, they're non-living. So, they will eventually outgrow their shell. And that's the reason why you find soft, soft crabs. Like, if you're into, you know, going into the ocean and stuff like that, um, you'll mm -hmm. notice you've seen soft yeah. crabs, right? Yeah. Soft-shelled crabs. The reason for that is they just underwent molting. So molting is when they were Change they will skin, yeah shed like that. shed their old shell, but then, before they do that, they will make a new one inside. But before they actually come out of their shell, they already have a new one formed inside, but it's not yet hard. Okay, now it's let's check it out. It's already boiling. This is the scar because you know what? Um, mud crabs or crabs in general, they're cannibalistic, so they would eat other crabs. Now, I already explained to you about molting, right? So, they're very um, when they're when they're molting, they usually hide because they're vulnerable because they have soft shells, they can't really fight. Other male mud crabs will eat them, so probably this mud crab was um, attacked when it was molting, it just finished molting, so it's shell was still soft you can see a scar here also guys with the eyes they actually have a 360 degree vision because wow. yeah because it's on top they have this stalk here and it's on top of a stalk so they can just turn it around and that's 360 degree that's so vision cool. Yeah, that that's is so cool. And also, mud crabs are actually part of the swimming crab family because because of this, so they can swim. This is called pleopods. I will show you their swimming tail, swimming um, legs. This is called pleopods. So that's what they use for swimming. Yeah, for swimming. Other swimming crabs are like in our previous vlog, the crinate swimming crab, the kasab, mm -hmm. the yeah. small crabs. They're also part of the swimming crab and the family. Lambay. And the, the lambay, lambay, the yes. blue swimming crabs as well. So they're all swimming crabs because of their swimming legs. Let's check it out. As you can see, it's already turned red, reddish orange, orange red. And now it's already cooked. Wow. Let's transfer this right now. Dude, look at that. I'm so that afraid. Is so big. It's so heavy. This is actually 1.3 kilos. Yeah. So that's big. But we have to use the remaining soda for our sauce. So we have to put it inside a bowl. This is just garlic and onion. Next is we'll put the soda that we used. This is the remaining soda from um, when we steamed the crab. Next is the cream, heavy cream. So since we're done with our sauce, <laughs> this is still hot. We are heavy. going to crack it open. Look at how big this claw is. I have here with me a piece of clothing because it's so hot. I wouldn't be able to take this. Look oh at God. that! The sauce! Can oh I God. Take some? Can I eat Later because I have to crack the exoskeleton first. And then that's it. We're gonna start cracking. See that? It doesn't have much meat, but still, this would be very delicious. Check that out. Mmm. This is 
where we're going to put it's really cracked that will be enough and for the crab car paste out and open it up it's still hot look at that check that out now i have to put this here and then break this clean this take out the abdominal flap and these are the gills so hot take this out as well because these are not edible there you have it guys our soda steamed mud crab in cream sauce